The mission of Children's Division of Nephrology is to provide comprehensive care for children with kidney disease across the spectrum of age and across the entire spectrum of the type of kidney disease, whether it's something minor and transient, all the way through chronic kidney disease and end-stage kidney disease and on up through transplantation. The multidisciplinary team members in this transplantation field all have been working in this field for quite some time. Dr. Maximans and I have been working in this for 20 plus years. Our surgeon, our psychologist, social worker, nutritionist, pharmacists, nurses, nurse practitioners, and coordinators all have had a long time dedication to this field, providing care to these children. Being in an urban area like Washington, D.C., we overcome the, a lot of the barriers and the challenges that our, our more disadvantaged populations have um, with the use of auxiliary hospital services. So we have in-person um, interpreters. We can request in advance just about any language. As a social worker, I am also able to provide referrals and kind of extend the reach of our services beyond the walls in order to make sure that children are able to access those very basic things that um, families need in order to take good care of their kids. It's really a team approach. You have to, it starts with really good nephrology, really good pediatric nephrology like we have here at Children's National. They try to figure out what is the nature of the kidney disease. As a geneticist, that then helps inform which genes do we need to look at. But that may only be a quarter to half the picture. We actually then have to go off and find genes that may have affected that, find changes in those genes that may have caused that disease, and then come back to the nephrologist and say, okay, does a change in this gene that we found actually, would this cause kidney disease? But it all begins with a good clinical and physiologic evaluation. The diagnosis of many of these conditions which lead to chronic kidney disease and end-stage renal disease in children start in fetal life. And they diagnose these children with kidney disease before they are born. So once they find that out, these families meet with a team of experts to plan, plan for these kids' future. Definitely operating on children provides its own sense of challenges. Um, it's the medical management of the kids can be difficult, the fluid management. Um, a lot of times kids have low blood pressure, which is totally normal for them, but maybe not so great for an adult kidney. So that's why we always encourage kids to come to a center that's doing as many pediatric transplants as possible because we've gotten so much better at dealing with these issues and we're very accustomed to taking care of them when they're here. We have children participating in various studies um, in dialysis as part of the what's called the SCOPE Collaborative that looks at ways of improving quality care for children who are on dialysis. We participate in a study called CKID, which is a longitudinal study of children with chronic kidney disease. Again, gathering data that we hope will improve the care of children based on what we find out from these studies. Some of the concerns for the chronic illness that extend beyond just the disease itself are around mental health, anxiety, depression, um, developmental delays. As social workers, we don't really separate the issues. We try to look at them in the context of the family's quality of life and identifying all the issues that our children face. Once you start to peel back the layers of the things that do get in the way, barriers start to be resolved as opposed to continuing to be barriers to care. I always tell people I only want to do something that I know is going to be better for you. And some of that is to prepare a child in the right way. So sometimes kids can have urologic issues that need to be dealt with before transplant. Also, kids absolutely have to take their medicines afterwards. The success of transplant is in some ways mainly due to good adherence to medications and visits to the clinic. So we want to make sure a child in the right position that they're going to be able to comply very carefully with what we want them to do. But we want to be with the child and the family through that process until they're ready and make sure they know that they can depend on us and that we're going to be there for the surgery and after. Despite um, the fact that some of our kids come from disadvantaged backgrounds, we do more transplants more pediatric transplants in this region and have excellent outcomes despite 
what may be perceived as barriers. So we're very proud of the fact that we make transplant accessible to all of our children and that once they get a transplant, we do everything in our power to make sure that that transplant lasts as long as possible. Before my transplant, I couldn't have cheese or I couldn't drink milk, or I couldn't have white or chocolate, because milk is dairy. Every time I come to the hospital, they always, they always hug me, and I hug them back. It just feels great my kid, having my kidney. Now I can drink milk. I just like to eat ice cream too with my new kidney.